When we're faced with challenges, it's natural to focus intensely upon them. Part of that is the result of the brain's negativity bias, which makes it like Velcro for bad experiences, but Teflon for good ones, so that when in a time of difficulty, such as during an epidemic, it's natural to zero in on the handful of lights that are flashing red in the inner dashboard. As useful as that is, though, in the short term, in the mid to long term, it can leave us feeling really stressed and really consumed by and even obsessed with those red lights that are flashing, the sense of our own losses, concern for others, sense of injustice, personal fears about illness, financial difficulty, etc. It's understandable, but over the long haul, we get worn down by that tight focus. Instead, widening your view to include what is also true is really helpful. It's not about denying or papering over or ignoring what's difficult. It's about seeing what's also true, in part to feel better and particularly because gratitude makes us resilient. So if we can be aware of what we're thankful for, are we thankful for the good people in our lives? Are we thankful for those folks, first responders, frontline people, perhaps oneself as a frontline person, really, really doing the best they can? Can we be grateful for many things that we tend to take for granted, like fresh, clean water coming out of a pipe, or push a button, light comes on, or get to listen to music, or just chocolate? Um, seeing a blade of grass coming up through a, bo a broken city sidewalk, uh, knowing that children are learning, maybe not like they used to perhaps, but they're still learning some things. We can be thankful for those things. We can even be thankful for the gift of life, the fact that we're here at all. And so I invite you really to take a moment, maybe simply looking around your current setting, uh, perhaps uh, bringing to mind people in your life who've helped you, who've been contributed to you, protected you, nourished you, loved you along the way, and see what happens when you almost sort of nod to them and say in your mind, thank you. Thank you, water. Thank you, other people. Thank you, whatever natural abilities you have, you know, your own good fortune. Thank you. And in the process of this, as much research has shown, as we cultivate gratitude, including related to it a sense of meaning in this life, and along with this feeling of gratitude, positive emotions, positive mood, an underlying sense of well-being, research shows that we actually get stronger. We bounce back faster uh, from difficulty. We're, we're harder to knock around in the first place. It's good for us to be thankful, to take this wider view and to not feel compelled and bound to the handful of lights that are genuinely, genuinely for sure, flashing red, while also so much else is true. So uh, I find for myself in this time that simple gratitude for really, really little things, and some of them are kind of goofy, but yeah, an orange, a paper clip. <laughs> our daughter's cat, other people, some of them who put up with me, thank you. So may you be grateful and resilient during this time of challenge.